make the girls go crazy. <laughs>
it is about that time for me to wrap up. But, um, I guess I got a lot of work done. I mean, the only one that I don't have done is this one. Which, not a big deal. I'll just run to go get some more. But, I could clean this one up a little bit better. Um, it's not the fact that this line here, you know, I mean, this is a pretty hard, but I put a little technique that I do at work all the time. So I took coolant hose and kind of helped it from rubbing. But, it, I mean, it's pretty solid there. Like, it's going to want to stay there. So she's literally a mess right now, but I do want to clean her up tomorrow. Um, it is almost 5 in the morning right now. So I got this hose from too. He kind of hooked me up. Thank you, Drake. Shout out to you, my dude. Shout out to you, dude. For real. You're a real MVP for this. I got three of the lines ran. So as you can see, these are the, like the push connector type. But yeah, I got three of them that ran. Um, I got some of the stuff for the solenoid hooked up. I got this hooked up. Um, I pretty much just have to run everything. Like, everything's ran. So, as you can see, these are all pulled up. Now, I wanted these to, like, look as clean as possible. I ran them through there. Back through in here. And that pretty much goes down. So, this is the wheel well here. Comes down the wheel well, as you can see, too. The line, the fitting is right here and it goes through i made sure to like push that back because i know if i came straight across it would rub probably on the on the tire or the or the rim and that's not what we want so i pretty much ran it through all the way through the side skirt all the way back um you can't really see let me see if i can steal this light so I ran through here, up, and over these clips, zip tied them, and they run over across. And then as you can see, they're exposed behind there, but they are pretty tight on there, so they shouldn't rub against that. Um, this, this one ru uh, runs here, so it's like pretty tight. I don't think it should touch there, but yeah, so I got the coolant hose on the same one here. I can clean this up later tomorrow once I figure out where everything's going. But the lines are running through that coolant hose and over. So that's how it pretty much is. Um, sorry, guys, I didn't really explain too much. was just trying to get this knocked out because... Like I said, I, I want to be able to go to work tomorrow on this. I mean, it'd be kind of dope to air out. But at the same time, I'm not going to push super crazy. I just wanted to see how far I could get. But I'm at a stopping point because of this, of this front one here, the front right. So all that, all that needs to be done is run that one all the way back to the, the little air management system and then we'll have to hook up a switch to turn on the pump and then yeah we'll have to hook everything up and then I think after that it's pretty much ready to throw these wheels back on and after that I think we're done <laughs> We finally got her on. Now, I went through trial and tribulation. I didn't record any of that. Uh, simply because the harness I got was a little wrong. And I just ended up saying fuck it. And taking it all out. And then putting it back on. The way that how I know it was supposed to go. So, as you guys can tell. Yeah. 
and I air up too, but this is how I sit. I'm just kidding, guys, but no, it, it's fucking low, dude. Like, like, she sits good. And I know I didn't vlog it, but I also put these on. So, to give it that little bit of, you know, kind of a cleaner look. So, Kyle and I right now are going to go uh, wash up the cars, kind of clean them up because we got a meet to go to. <laughs> 